Praise the Lord, and thank you for tuning in to another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomason. And I'm Prophetess Tanya Thomason. And we are so honored of the Lord that you have tuned in on today to hear the word of the Lord so that you can be encouraged and empowered to be all that God has called you to do. Can I tell you that you do have something to do <laughs> Amen. for the kingdom? Amen. Come on, you're not just here on this earth taking out oxygen. You have a reason, you have a purpose, you have a destiny in God. Amen? Amen. 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 And, but in order to find that, you have to seek him. Yes. Seek his face. Yes. Amen. And Amen. he will give you the answer. That's what I love about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He is a spirit of truth. Yes. Amen. He will lead you and guide you into all truth. All truth. You know, mm -hmm. and one thing that I understand about the Holy Spirit is that I don't have to go through life in the dark. Amen. Because he knows all things. I just got to, all I have to do is just ask. That's yes. all we have to do is ask him. Yes. He knows the mind of God. Amen. 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 Listen, you, you got to ask the Holy, Holy Spirit, go into the mind of God, pull up, go pull up my file with my picture in it. <laughs> and tell me what I need to be doing right now. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, on Kingdom of Power, we know how we do before we get into the Word. We like to open up with a word of prayer. So, Father, we glorify you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for this is the day that you have made, oh God. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you're bringing revelation and illumination to your Word, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that the words that is released, Father God, will bring would edify the hearer, Father God, and birth forth fruit, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that you will speak to us as you speak through us, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. We declare and decree, Lord God, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our, of our hearts, oh God, because we have postured our hearts, Father God, to seek your will, Father God, to hear your voice, Father God, to humble ourselves. We have humbled ourselves, Father, that we would release what heaven says on today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So thankful for the Lord. Amen. We're still we're still talking about prayer. We've been talking about prayer for the past two weeks. Because prayer is essential. It sure is essential. <laughs> That's what we are wearing. Our prayer is essential. Um, hoodies. Amen. Amen. Because it's true, especially in this day and age with everything happening um, around the world. Um, prayer is essential. We've got to get back to prayer. We've Amen. got to restore the altar of prayer. Amen. 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 And, and in every household, in every city, uh, every church. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, in, 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 our, in our nation's capital, everywhere, the yes. altar of prayer has to be restored. Right. Amen. It has to be restored. Amen. Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Come on. Come on. Come we on. are the house. Yes. <laughs> and yes. we should be praying. Yeah. Come on. We're doing everything else but praying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prayer, prayer, listen, prayer, prayer is a vehicle that God uses to, to bring what's in the invisible into our to, now. Into our now. It works, it works with faith, hunger, mm -hmm. you know, it brings what's invisible into our now. But you can't see what's invisible if you don't inquire. That's mm. it. That's why prayer is essential. That's essential. Amen. And that and that's that's pretty much what we're talking about. We're going to be talking about um, the prophet Elijah. Mm -hmm. um, go with us to um, 1 Kings chapter 18, mm -hmm. beginning with verse 41. Listen to this. Then Elijah said to Ahab, go up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. a, the, the sound mm -hmm. of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. Mm -hmm. 
Then he bowed down on the ground and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, go up now, look towards the sea. So he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And seven times he said, go again. The and then it came to pass the seventh time mm -hmm. that he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare your chariots and go down before the rain stops you. Now, verse 45, now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and wind and there was a heavy rain. So Ahab rode away and went to Jezreel. Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he girded up his loins and ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. He ran ahead of Ahab in his chariots. So the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He turned into flash. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But, in, but but anyway, just going back to um, the beginning of verse 41, he tells him, he said, go ahead. He said, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Mm -hmm. The sound of it, not that he saw, but the sound of it. Mm -hmm. But this is amazing. Why is this amazing? It's because for three years it hadn't rained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It hadn't rained for three years. Now, when you read up ahead, it speaks about the contest between um, the, the prophet um, Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Okay, they had this contest. The prophets of Baal uh, was, trying to get their, was trying to get Baal to respond to them. They was cutting, cutting their sails, flipping and doing all kinds of stuff, but there was nothing happening. Mm -hmm. The prophet um, Elijah um, had them to dig some trenches to pretty much build an altar, put a calf on it. And the Bible says that when he prayed, God answered by fire and took the sacrifice. He took the water, mm -hmm. he took the calf, he took everything and, and took it all up. And then the people repented. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So and then he tells him, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Mm -hmm. Now, just thinking about that whole situation is, 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 speak, is, is God is speaking. When the people repented, mm. he heard the sound of rain. Mm. It hadn't rained for three years. Mm -hmm. But when the people turned and they repented mm -hmm. and came back to God mm -hmm. because they were, they were worshiping Baal. That's why that was the purpose of the contest. Mm -hmm. But when they turned back to God and Elijah, he rebuilt that altar mm -hmm. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord took up the sacrifice. The people repented. Mm -hmm things begin to change in the nation. Mm, that's good. Things begin to change in the nation. And then once all that happened, then he said, I hear the sound mm. of abundance of rain. I, I'm sure they looked up, hear the sound. Mm -hmm. I, I, the, the, the sky is clear. There's not even any clouds. But he heard something in the spirit. Mm -hmm. He heard something in the spirit. He heard the sound of abundance of rain. In the spirit, he heard something trying to come through, mm -hmm. but it needed the assistance of his prayer. Mm. You see that? Verse mm -hmm. 42 says, so Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Karma, or to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. It's something about high places mm. in the Bible. Place of prayer. Then he bowed down on the ground and put his face between his knees. And said to his servant, go up now, look towards the sea. Uh -huh. So he went up and he looked and said, there is nothing. I don't see nothing. And seven times he said, go again. Verse 44. Then it came to pass the seventh time that he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. Uh -huh. So that's amazing to me too, mm -hmm. depending on how, how, what, what he considered the size of a man's hand, but he saw a cloud. And, and you know, when, when you look on, um, when they do like uh, pictures of it, 
they saw a, a cloud of size of a big giant man's hand mm -hmm. in love a cloud, but it was actually the size of a man's hand that he saw come from the sea. Mm -hmm. And then it began to build, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But the prophet Elijah heard it before he saw it. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? God, you may be hearing something in the realm of the spirit mm -hmm. that God wants to release that God wants to release in the earth, but he needs he needs to he needs you to partner with him in birthing it through. Right. In faith and prayer. In faith and in prayer. Mm -hmm. Because it's something how he, um, Elijah said that he heard the sound of abundance. That don't mean little rain. Right. That meant big rain. Right. He heard the sound of abundance of rain. Mm -hmm. And then when the man of God went down, he on the seventh time, he saw a cloud rise up out of, the water out of this out of the water the size of a man's hand which meant that the continual prayer caused it to, to grow to come into that place of abundance but what then when you think about um abundance that means a great deal right a lot mm -hmm. yes. and then rain what an abundance of rain comes to what wash and refresh mm. come takes, on <laughs> takes me to where we're at in our nation dealing with COVID. Mm -hmm. Prayer, that sound of abundance is the prayer of the saints, the prayers of the people, come on, where God can cause the rain to fall from heaven, come on, and begin to wash, cleanse, uh -huh, mm -hmm. and refresh yes. the land. Restore. Heal, bring forth healing come on. and restoration to our land through prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And I, and I believe that's, that's, that's what God is saying. He's saying, I need you to seek me. Amen. I believe, you know, uh, all you, 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 we have all this stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And I believe God is trying to get his people to pray. Uh, yeah. Trying to get his people to pray. You know, and when you, and, and when you think about everything that's transpired from Mount Carmel to the, the rain showing up, mm -hmm. things begin to turn when they repented. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think because that's... They, because they were, there, there was a drought for three years. Mm -hmm. Like there was like no rain. Matter of fact, when he asked for water, that was a sacrifice. Because right. I didn't know when it was going to get some more water. It ain't rain for three years. Right, right. And I don't think that it's, um, I don't think that it's not that people aren't praying. I believe one, that we have postured ourselves for prayer, one. And two, I believe that we only pray when we feel that there's a necessity. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we are to pray without ceasing. ceasing. Man should always pray. Prayer is essential. Pray without ceasing. And we don't necessarily have a prayer life, but we pray out of necessity. Mm -hmm. We pray to say that we pray, Lord, I had a conversation with you today, or we have an issue and we pray, but to be a people of prayer means that we pray without ceasing. Does that mean that you hikamoshanda all day long? No, it does mm -hmm. not. But right. it means that your spirit man is always in a posture mm -hmm. of praying without ceasing. I mean, I, you can pray without, you know, being uh, uh, um, a distraction on the job or anywhere. To pray without ceasing means that we're constantly declaring the word of God into the atmosphere. We're constantly praying on the inside of our spirits. Come on. Our spirit man is always in a posture mm -hmm. of praying because nothing can happen in the earth. Come on. Even though God is a big God and he's creator, he's omnipotent, he's all powerful, he's all knowing. Come on. But nothing happens in the earth unless it happens through this particular vehicle that God set in the earth to have dominion. Yeah. In order for us to have dominion, we have to begin to release in the earth realm what heaven says. Right. Uh, Adam wasn't passive in naming the mm -hmm. animals. He prayed, released, mm -hmm. without ceasing. I mean, but it, it, it shows you. I mean, it, I mean, that's why Jesus had, came through the seed of a woman. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, 
to be it. Because he had to have on flesh in order to have authority in this in the realm, earth. in the earth. So he had to put on the earth suit, being spirit, put on the earth suit so that he can have dominion over the earth. Yep. Mm. That's good. That's why it's important, you know, and, and so, so in essence, we, all of us have a part to play. Man. We do. You know, even even with, okay, Elijah, okay, yes, he's the one that prayed, but his servant had to go look. He did. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was his assignment, to go look and, and come back and report. Mm -hmm. You know, report what you see. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, you know, I, I, I'm praying, but what do you see? Do you see the manifestation of when I'm praying? What can you see? Mm -hmm. When you go out and you look, what do you see? When you look out, what do you see? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and the prophet said, it was down in praying. He would come back. He said, you see, I ain't seen nothing. I said, okay, now go back because I'm going I'm to keep praying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay in this posture mm -hmm. until something happens. Mm -hmm. until, I, until I see what I heard. Come on. Until God manifests the very thing that I hear. Now faith. Yes. Mm-hmm. Faith don't mean we pray one time, we quit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he, pray, he, he prayed through he prayed what he through. heard. Absolutely. You know, he, he pushed, he prayed until something happens. Right. Until he, until he saw what he heard. Right. You know, even, even with, the, with the vision that, that God has given you uh, or the dream that God gave you, you pray that thing through until you see. What he said. You see what he says. Right. And that don't mean that you pray repetitively. Right. But you begin to declare into the earth what thus said the Lord. Right. Or what it is that you saw. Mm -hmm. You begin to speak the word. Right. And the earth. Not not chanting. No, we ain't, we ain't doing that. No, I'm not. I'm, we're not talking about chanting. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Praying, speaking the word, the of, word God, of God. <laughs> pertaining to it. See, because um, every, every, every day, let me tell you something. Elijah walked so close with God that he was in tune to what was going on in the spirit. That's why he heard that. That's why he heard it. Because mm -hmm. uh, which was a sign mm -hmm. that that re true repentance had taken place. Because mm -hmm. he because for because it took three years for him to hear something different. Jesus. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. He finally heard <laughs> when repentance happened. He heard something, he finally heard something different mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of beyond what he was hearing. My Lord. Drought. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment, Ooh. drought, all that. Help us. But he, but, but when he, but once he heard it, he understood that I've got to pray this thing through. Yes. Even, even if it's just me, I got to pray this thing gotta through. I got to pray it through. And, 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 can I, and I truly believe this, honey, that there's, there, there are some that are even watching that God has allowed them to hear something they've even questioned it. Mm. But he, God, is, 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 God has you tune in just so you can hear this, this message that you did hear what you heard. Amen. Pray it through. Pray it through. You did see what you saw in your dreams. Push. Pray it through. Keep praying. Mm. Keep praying. Don't stop praying yeah. until you see the manifestation of what you pray. Elijah stayed in Hallelujah. that posture. It, it didn't say that he okay. got up when the young man came mm -hmm. and told him he didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. He didn't get up until the young man came back. He said, I saw a cloud the size of a man's mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. Then immediately, as soon as he said that, in verse Verse 44, and then it came to pass the seventh time mm -hmm. that he said, there is a cloud, a as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. He said, now the manifestation of what was in, in the invisible is beginning to manifest. Mm. Then he says, so he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare your chariots mm. and go down from before the rain stops you. Mm. Which means that what's coming is so strong, so heavy, you mm. can't be where you at. You can't be in the same place where you at right now. You've got to move. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 45, now it happened. In the meantime, that the sky became black with clouds and wind, and there was a heavy rain. So it started in the size 
of a man's hand, but it began to fill mm -hmm. with water. Mm -hmm. And when it began to and, and see, the reason why it rains is because the cloud got full and had to empty out. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So so even so even in the midst of this, there has been some prayers that's grown that has grown up. Mm -hmm. But the cloud isn't completely full yet. Mm. So we've got to keep praying, keep praying. And after a while, come on, it's going to be such a such a downpour that it's going to wash. Thank you, Lord. Come on, that's a word. It's going to wash yes. out yes. everything yes. <laughs> that's 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 kept us stuck. Mm. I mean, because e e even with dealing this COVID, it's, it's like you feel like, man, good God, again. As he said, he said, meanwhile, in um, verse 45, he said, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens was black with clouds and the wind. So the wind came, darkness fell, then the mm -hmm. wind came. And when the wind came, the wind began to upturn things. It begins to expose things, come, come on, on. Mm -hmm. hidden things. Come on, the wind. When you when you think of wind in a storm, uh, wind don't just it's it just not a, a passive wind, but a wind in a storm. A lot of times, wind bring down power lines, wind upturn, uh, well sometimes completely uproot some of the biggest trees. So I believe that we're in a time of the wind. Mm. With, with everything that has been exposed and everything that has come to a head, come on, come on, all of this stuff, the prayerlessness of the saints, come on, all of this stuff and how COVID uh, came into the earth, come on, then we, dealt, then we had to do, deal with COVID and now COVID is mutating, which means that there, there's been a, a rebellion. Anything that mutates means that the, it's been given fuel to 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 mm -hmm. do so, mm -hmm. it can't mutate unless it's it's festered and it's given the ability to do so, which means that there's another strand. Mm -hmm. So I believe that we're in a time of darkness, but the prayers of the saints is what's going to cause the the cloud to arise out of the the sea, and then there will be a torrential downpouring. Of, of restoration and healing in the land, but that the prayers of the saints that's going up is causing that thing to begin to come into fruition. And then once the prayers of the saints, come on, when we begin to pray the will in the heart of the Father, come on, when we begin to unite as a nation in prayer, come on, when there is 24 hour prayer going on in our nation, come on, when the people of God begin to pray without ceasing, come on, when the people of God begin to declare and decree what thus said the Lord, when we begin to release healing and unity and restoration out of our mouth, then the torrential downpour of rain will begin to hit the mm. earth and there will be a time of of washing and refreshing. Amen. Amen. Come, Come on. on. Then God is going to move in the earth. Then he, that's, I believe that that is when he says in his word that he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. That time of restoration and healing, yes. manifestation of the spirit of God. Come on. The signs and wonders and miracles that follow the, the, the believer, but we cannot be in a posture of believing what thus said the Lord if we're not praying and releasing the will of God into the earth. Right. Come on, not those that believe that because I say so, somebody going to get healed. Right. Where is your where is your prayer life? Where is the anointing that rests upon you? Come on. Where is the the healing? The manifestation of healing comes through your humility. God is not going to really put something on you that you are not humble enough to handle. Right. Come on, somebody. Oh, my God. That's right. Ooh, I don't even want to tap into the lifestyle of Job. The humility of him. The humility of the man that caused the healing. Even when it didn't look like his, his wife didn't even believe that God was going to manifest in his life. Come on. But God restored him and healed him and gave him back double for everything that he lost. And I believe that God is going to give us back double for all that we believe that we lost when we posture ourselves 
humbly in prayer and begin to release and declare and decree the word of God into the earth realm. That's oh. it. That's it. Woo, hallelujah. You know, it's just like like we've been talking about this. There's been a common theme, um, not just prayer, but um, even with dealing with Daniel. Yes. How he set his heart to understand. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And he was, and, and with humility, and then yes. God heard him. Yes. Yes. He heard him. Yes. You know, and how you posture my Lord, yourself. My Lord, my Lord. I mean, because really, Hallelujah. God is trying to get us to pray, mm. to fill, the, come on, to, to fill the cloud, Ooh, right? To fill the yes. cloud. Why? So that it, what would be, it be the end result? An outpouring. An outpouring, but that, that humility piece it's, yes. has to happen. Jesus, come on. Jesus didn't come in here haughty and full of pride. Mm -mm. He came to serve. serve. He was humble. Come on, being fully God, clothed in an earth suit. He humbled himself all the way to the point of death, and we don't want to die to our own will. Yeah. And what we want to release in the earth pertains to, to us and not the Father. Right. It's all, listen, it's, it, the key to answer prayer is praying the will of God. Yes. And in the final, his, his will is his Hallelujah. word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you have to seek him yes. to find out what his will is so you can my pray, God, so that you God, can pray God, according to that. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. wants to heal our nation. Hallelujah. But people of God, we've got to pray. Yes. Pray, pray, pray until we oh. see the manifestation, till mm. we see this thing turn around. My it God. will turn around My God. when we pray. But just but just looking at the example of after the contest was won. Yes. And God received the sacrifice mm. and he took it and they saw the manifestation openly. My God. Everybody saw it. Mm -hmm. There wasn't some just a spiritual that everybody saw with their natural eye. Mm -hmm. Fire come down from heaven My and Lord. take the sacrifice. They repented. And when the nation repented, come on. then the rain came. Come on, come on. And are you a worthy sacrifice? Woo! -hoo. Listen, <laughs> we are out of time but never out of words. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Listen, Hallelujah. Uh, we love you so much. We just pray that you have been blessed. By by this our, our our dialogue on prayer, Jesus, Amen. Amen. Stretch your hands towards us, Father Amen. God. I thank you, Father God, even now, Father Amen. God, that you are stirring the people's hearts Amen. to pray, yes, to God. seek you, Father God, yes. to seek your face, Father God. Have set in their hearts Amen. to 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 hear and to receive from you, yes. Father God. Yes. I thank you for what you're doing in their lives right now, and ask you that you will continue to bless them in Jesus' in name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen, we love you so much. We pray that you were blessed by what you heard. Um, we will also, me and Prophetess, we would truly love you would come yes. and um, fellowship with us here at Kingdom Empowerment Ministries here in Port Huron, Mich Michigan. Yes. Our address is 2700 Pine Grove Avenue um, here in Port Huron. Uh, our Sunday service is at 12 noon on yes. Sundays. Yes. Amen. And also on Wednesdays, we have our have our Bible study, which is able where you're able to watch it on Facebook Live. Yes. You can just watch it on our Facebook page, which is at Kingdom Empower, at Kingdom Empower. Yes. And if you would like to find out more information about Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, you can always go to our website, www.kingdomempower.org. Yes. Listen, we love you and don't stop praying. Push. Pray until something happens. Amen. Amen. We love you and we we'll see you next time for your kingdom empowerment. empowerment. Blessings.